What is up everyone, Visual Timmy here, and in this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to make your own watermark stamp brush. This works perfectly if you have a logo or a little signature that you want on all of your artwork, or if you have a, an Instagram handle that you want tagged on every photo in the same way. So it'll look something like this. Let's make a new layer, and you'll be able to stamp your logo anywhere that you want. So. The first thing that we're gonna do, if you already have this brush from one of my free kits, what you can do is just open it up, come into the shape folder or the uh, shape panel. Under shape source, you see a button that says edit. You're gonna wanna press that and then import from photo or file wherever your image is located. We will come to albums for me and in my favorites album, I have my logo. I press on that and it appears here. So whatever is white on this screen will be the ink of the brush. So if your image imports like this, then it's going to stamp an entire square and we don't want that. So edit and tap with two fingers once and that will invert your image and bring the ink or the white part of the brush into focus. Once that's done, you're ready to roll. But if you don't have this brush pre-made, what you can do is press the plus sign right here to create a new brush. We're gonna take the spacing all the way up. We're gonna come to Apple Pencil. We'll make sure that none of these settings are set. We don't want opacity, we don't want size, flow, none of these. Then we'll come to Properties, Maximum Size. We'll crank this up. And if this is too fast for you, just rewind, watch it a couple more times. It's, it's real simple, but I can understand how you can get hung up. So again, properties, maximum size, all the way up. Use stamp preview, turn that on. Orient to screen, turn that off. Then we'll come over back to our shape panel. And instead of this circle, we can replace it with our image, just like we did before. Import import from photo, find your logo, and you're ready to go. So I hope that this helps you out to get your own watermark logo onto your canvas. If you have any more questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to help you out. See ya.